In this video, I would like to talk about something that I noticed in um, the Unabomber documentary on Netflix that I think is worth talking about because I think it has wider applications or wider ramifications. Um, now, first of all, I have to say that in spite of... Uh, the misgivings that you might have, rightfully so, or rightly so, <laughs> the, the 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 misgivings you would have, you might have about Netflix, um, and uh, do Netflix doing a documentary. There actually have been some Netflix documentaries that have been rather good, and I think this is one of them. This documentary on Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, um, is is rather fair. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it explores lots, lots of things about the man, including things that were done unto him that perhaps, uh, were, were, uh, uh, um, not, uh, to his benefit and that, that, uh, perhaps had the unfortunate effect of shaping him into the kind of, of man that he became, um, you know, there, there is, uh, it's, it's not all just like, ew, uh, uh, ooh, ooh, he's a terrorist, gross, um, uh, there, there, there's, there's an effort to see, uh, what makes the guy tick, what his philosophy was, why he de developed his philosophy, you know, in addition to covering aspects of his life, um, some of which aren't very aren't terribly flattering, but I mean I think it's a it's a it's a all altogether a well rounded picture of the man. Now, um, what interests me the most is a certain section of the um, the documentary. I think it was covered in maybe episode two. Uh, it's when Ted has gone to Harvard at a very young age and, you know, his, his, uh, IQ is through the roof. Uh, he's incredibly bright, uh, but, but, you know, socially awkward, socially beyond awkward. Right. And he's just been shuffled along, uh, and, uh, um, you know, he's not well adjusted at all. He's, I think, he, I think he starts Harvard when he's 15 or 16, something like that. Something insane. Um, you know, hanging out with all of these, uh, properly aged college kids. Um, <clears throat> while he's in, uh, college at Harvard, he volunteers to take part in this, this, uh, study, which unbeknownst to him is, uh, a, uh, uh, is is conducted by or is run by one of the notorious MK Ultra doctors um and uh the 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 way that the the uh, program is sold to him is this is a way to debate ideas with your fellow classmates and of course it was it was a way of getting money which Kaczynski needed in, in college. So, uh, you know, he, he leapt at the, at the, uh, idea of, uh, taking part in this study. Now, this was during the prime years of, of MK Ultra, late fifties, early sixties. This is when they were doing all kinds of things, you know, uh, putting LSD in people's drinks without their knowing it, you know, uh, all, all kinds of what, 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 uh, what they ought to have known better, but they didn't care because they're soulless and sociopathic, these people, these, uh, um, these CIA people who were conducting these kinds of experiment, experiments. Um, and no, I don't think I'm, I'm being, uh, unfair in, in, uh, in that assessment. I think that is absolutely on the mark. So what this program turned out to be, instead of Kaczynski getting to debate ideas with his peers, which is sort of how it was sold, 
Instead, what happens is he's paired with this older man who's, who's this, you know, this doctor, this, this, uh, renowned doctor, uh, who, who's, who started it up this entire, this entire program. It was his, uh, brainchild. And it turns out that the program is all about subjecting, uh, students, these, these students, these young people to great uh, deal, uh, to, to a great amount of stress and strain by, uh, endlessly mocking and belittling them. So what you hear and you, and they, they play a certain, um, passages from, um, the, uh, these, uh, these sessions where Ted Kaczynski, a young Ted is talking to this much older doctor and the, the doctor is just berating him just over and over telling him how worthless his ideas are and how, how asinine he is and, and how, uh, you know, there, there's really nothing, no depth to anything that he's saying. He's really just a very shallow thinker. It's just that over and over and over again. And, it, you know, he, he doesn't say it. He, it's not like, uh, he ever really raises his voice. He, he doesn't yell at him. He doesn't, um, uh, you know, like, uh, it's, it's not like, a you know, getting, uh, getting reamed at halftime by your, your coach, if you're sucking on the field, you know, it's not, it's not, it doesn't have that kind of feel to it, but it's more like just an older man, just, uh, just somebody who, from Kaczynski's point of view is much more, you know, somebody who, who has got his shit together and knows what he's talking about. Who's just telling him over and over and over and over how his ideas are just, uh, are just worthless. And, and now he, he you know, how shockingly, uh, un, uh, 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 unprepared he is and, and how, how, uh, uh, just, just over and over again, uh, how, how much of an idiot, uh, Ted is. That, that, that's what gets, gets repeated over and over again in these, in these sessions. And that's the whole, that was the whole point of these sessions was to see how these, uh, 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 young students would respond, uh, you know, under the auspices of it being, uh, a, a, a chance to, to debate. Um, and there are people who talk about how, um, like, uh, you know, Kaczynski didn't have a very good, good, a very easy time making friends, but one guy that he did make friends with talks about how he was such a changed person after he went through this, this, uh, you know, this, this daily or weekly, I'm not sure how often it was this, this, uh, this regular, uh, these regular sessions of, of belittlement and, and humiliation uh, and how it changed him, how it hardened him. Um, Kaczynski of course said that it, it had no effect on him at all. Uh, but he would say that, I mean, he wouldn't, he wouldn't want it to be known, uh, that, that, that they got to him. He, you know, he, he was, he had much too much pride for that. So I, I think, I think it's highly likely that especially when you're talking to a kid, you know, who's, who's, uh, at an even younger age than most college kids are. And, you know, even if it's a, even if it's a kid, uh, and even if it's an 18 year old kid going to Harvard, he's obviously smart. He's obviously there amongst the best and brightest, uh, at least, at least, at least that would have been the case in 1950. I don't know about now with their dingbat, uh, president that, <laughs> that they've got <laughs> right now. And, and the, the whole, uh, deterioration of academia generally, but in the fifties, yeah, it was, it was pretty high standards, but, but even, even your, your typical Harvard student would, uh, would no doubt be, uh, psychologically affected by, uh, detrimentally affected by, uh, 
these these kinds of exchanges where the, the whole idea was that that this older older uh, authoritative figure just just comes and, and tells him he's just full of nonsense and and he's got nothing going for him and and uh, and that it's it's that same idea over and over and over and over again um so so you got to expect that when it's a, with a younger kid a kid like Young Ted Kaczynski, who again, extremely bright, um, you know, brighter than probably higher, probably has a higher IQ than anybody else at 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 Harvard uh, at the time, but still, you know, very vulnerable, uh, still extremely insecure, and and he, and he remained insecure around other people, you know, in, in human interaction, he was always somebody who, who had a very difficult time, uh, you know, relating to other people and, and having, uh, uh, what, what we would call normal interactions with, uh, with others. So you got to expect that it would, it would, uh, have, uh, uh, a, a detrimental effect on his psyche. Now, his brother is somebody who is interviewed a great deal in this Netflix documentary. And his brother, you know, even though he turned him in, and I know that people out there will, will say that, that, you know, that was a, that was a sorry thing to do. You know, that was, the, he, he's a, he was a traitor to his own, to, to his own flesh and blood. Um, you know, I don't know. I understand if, if your brother, is is sending bombs to people and blowing them up. I understand why you might feel a moral obligation to rat on him. Okay, I'm not I'm not putting his brother down for that. In fact, his brother seems like a seems like a nice guy, uh, but also seems somewhat. You know, I don't I don't I don't know if I want to say effeminate because I'm not saying his brother. I'm not implying that his brother is homosexual. But but there's something there 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 is an effeminacy to, you know, his uh, um, some of the things that he's he's saying, some of his some of the conclusions that he reaches, um, and he talks. One of the things that he says, he talks about when Ted had to go through all of this, and he said he said he talked about how it must have been an awful thing for Ted, and he felt sorry for him uh, to have to endure these sessions, uh, um, where he was berated and belittled, but, but then he said something that really caught my attention and, 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 uh, uh, it did not sit well with me at all. He said something like, uh, maybe sometimes it's better to get to be broken than to be hardened. Maybe sometimes it's better to be to, to be broken than to be hardened. He talked about how Ted would, you know, not want to be broken by all. It was like a way of, uh, <clears throat> you know, he saw it as a test not to break his will, not to break his spirit. But uh, but his his brother actually says, well, what would, would actually wishes that his brother had had been broken by it. Like there's something that does just does not sit right sit well with me about that. Um, you know, you want, you just want him to knuckle under and, uh, I don't know, not, not keep fighting, just, just knuckle under and, and, and accept the humiliation and, and, uh, you know, that, that's what you want. That, that, that's what you want your brother to do. Don't you want your brother to stand up for himself? Don't don't you want? I mean, if 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 uh, if you're thinking about someone you love being subjected to something like that, do you really want want them to to uh, to just uh, to to be broken to to accept defeat and be broken now? Of course, he's saying this in retrospect, 
thinking that Ted became, afterwards, eventually became this recluse uh, who uh, um, who had no interactions with people and, and worked all day on this this uh, this manifesto about how the, the how technology was evil and, and 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 who was sending bombs to to blow people up um, you know so thinking about that like that thinking that that was what he became since he got hardened that you know he, with that in mind maybe it was better to have been broken than hardened even so it still doesn't sit sit well with me it absolutely i mean i don't i don't uh think that Kaczynski went <laughs> i don't think his life went in the right direction uh i just definitely um i'm not defending uh the kind of uh life that he led and the kind of things that he did at the end of his life or or in the i guess the middle part of his life when he was living in seclusion and doing his Unabomber thing. Um, but why, why, why on earth would you ever say, just be broken? Just, just, oh, oh, brother of mine, just, just be broken. Just let them break you. Um, you know, I, I really got mad at this guy. I got mad at Ted's brother when he said that. And, and I thought his, I, I thought he seemed like a nice guy. He seemed like a, a compassionate, sympathetic guy. He seemed like somebody who, through it all, still loved Ted, even though Ted was a very difficult person to, to get along with. And, and, uh, you know, even though Ted turned out to be a murderer, um, and all of that, it seemed like you could still tell, tell that he, he cared about his brother, but man, why would you want him to be broken? Why would you think that would be a good thing if he was broken by this? I mean, you can't, can't, shouldn't you take pride in the fact that he wasn't broken by it? I mean, that's what I would do if it were talking about any loved one of mine being subjected to something like that. I would, I would be proud i would be pleased as punch if my son or my daughter were subjected to something like that and uh and they they didn't back down you know even if the it, even if it uh uh I, even if it would break my heart that they were in that kind of situation at all uh, there's no part of me that would just think oh well just be broken just go ahead and be broken I mean, why would you want some somebody to be broken that's and maybe if i'm applying this in a larger sense uh societally is that you know is that maybe like what what people who what, what happens when you get uh uh brainwashed you know, when you get quote unquote domesticated, when you learn to parrot the things that they're telling you and not to think for yourself and not to go off in these directions that they, that they say are, are bad, bad, bad. No, don't, don't go off on that line of inquiry. That's bad. Um, you know, ultimately it seems that accepting the, accepting their propaganda is being, is is being broken. It's, I mean, for some people, it's just something they don't even think about, right? It's, so they're not really broken by it. They just they just shrug and go along with it. But but for people who have uh, a greater mind and a greater spirit and, and the ability to to defy uh, uh, these. Uh, injunctions to to or or to question them or to uh um you know to, to to look more closely at them and decide that they are found that they are found wanting the the, the ones who, who are out there who who, who say to uh, to people like me well just just do 
just do what you're told. Just, just like, you don't have to believe it. Just, just do it. Just, just say, just, just say yes, sir. And do, and do what you're told, you know? That, that doesn't sit well with me. So there you go. What do y'all think?